Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be doing an unboxing. I just ordered two Kenyan Sanboas. They are a male stripe albino Sanboa and a female possible heads albino stripe Sanboa. So I just got this package from FedEx overnight shipping of course uh, three minutes ago maybe. So I'm gonna open it in front of you guys and I don't know, just show you how I open it and what snakes we ordered. Just get to it, you know? It's okay. Nah, I don't I don't care. Let's just go through the paper. Okay. Of course there has to be insulation. The box has to be also properly labeled. In Fury you need to get a box that says that it's alive and also the species of the animal. Yeah, and the quantity. It says two Kenyan Samboas and then the species name. So that's good. And we're gonna get this out. There we go. Okay, snakes are usually shipped in snake bags and other lizards or other reptiles or amphibians are usually shipped in deli cups. There usually needs to be good stuffing to make sure that they are safe. And this one's heavy, I'm assuming this is the female. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna untie this knot. I would have added a little bit more stuffing, but I think it's fine. I just don't like the idea of them banging against the sides of the box. Because no matter what, a truck and a plane are always gonna be moving and you're gonna have to, I don't know, just it's impossible for the animal not to bang and to move a lot, so the more stuffing, usually the better. Alright, hello girl, are you feisty? No, you're nice. She's a really pretty color. Um, she's a little scared, you can tell. She has some stuck shed, so I'm gonna give her a, a bath and get that shed out of there. She really wants to burrow and to just be left alone so that's what i'm gonna do in a few minutes i want to check for mites or any other size signs of parasites she looks healthy she looks like a healthy weight she's not obese and she is not skinny either i'm gonna see if i can show you a little better she's a really dark tone and this is the striped female possible head for albino so really excited to breed this girl it's gonna be our first season uh breeding sand boas so as a female she is almost 300 grams i think so one or two more feedings and then we can probably breed her this guy shat in the bag this guy's the prettiest the one that i was the most excited about he is just gorgeous look at that okay okay chill out chill out dude He's really chubby in a good way. He is, he's definitely aged to breed. I think he's from 2019. And I'm not sure if he's bred yet or not. But you can also see it's a male if you see that tail. Let's see. That long and kind of bulgous tail that does not, it doesn't end quickly in a, in a spiky spine. It's more of a like a thin, I, I don't really know how to describe it, but you can just see like it's, it's kind of like less triangular, like um, a female will have a more of a fat and then really pointy tail and less space. And a male just has a longer tail that, I don't know, it's just longer, honestly. And it kind of has a different shape too, but I don't really know how to explain it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a male. He's really pretty. He's obviously nervous. I don't know if the breeder held them a lot. I know the breeder cared about them because I initially ordered three uh, sand boas, but one of them was underweight. So they, they were not comfortable shipping a snake that was not, that was not healthy, essentially. So that male had gone through a, a food strike and didn't want to eat anymore. So 
that snake is not in my collection right now. And I don't think it's it's too bad. He was just a normal male. And I was planning on breeding that male to my normal female. But I'm thinking maybe I can breed a uh, stripe to my normal female and maybe get some stripes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I still have to do some more research on the genes and stuff. For now, I'm just going to keep them. And once I know a little bit more about breeding, I'll start breeding or making some decisions. So yeah, if you like the video, comment and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.